Hi, my name is Zachary, and today I'm going to be performing Captain Conniption by Jack Prolonsky. I'm Captain Conniption, the scourge of the sea. No pirate alive is as fearsome as me. I'm ten times as tough as the skin of a whale. The sharks cringe in terror wherever I sail. I'm Captain Conniption, the bane of the fleet. I don't wash my face and I don't wash my feet. I wear a black hat and I fly a black flag. I'm as bad as can be, though I don't like to brag. When I'm on deck with my cutlass in hand, the saltiest sailors start sailing for land. They know I'm the nastiest nautical knave, though bold as brigade is bound to behave. I'm Captain Conniption, and up to no good. You'll soon walk the plank if I think that you should. I'll show you right now how I vanquish a foe, but I hear my mother, so I have to go. Nature. Nature is like a tool. At first, it's super useful, and you make sure it is in a safe spot so it stays sharp. But after using it for a while, it becomes a regular tool for you, and you start to not cherish it as much as you used to. Then the tool dulls out and isn't as useful as it used to be. Finally, you pick it up one day and try to use it, but it fails to do so. After that, it breaks. I think nature is at the point where it starts to dull down. We still have time to fix it, but not much. The only question is when will people start to notice? Wanted a Witch's Cat by Shiloh McGee. Wanted a Witch's Cat must have vigor and spite, be expert at hissing and good in a fight, and have balance and poise on a broomstick at night. Wanted a Witch's Cat must have hypnotic eyes, to tantalize victims and mesmerize spies, and be adept at scanning the skies. Wanted a witch's cat, with a sly cunning smile, a knowledge of spells, and a good deal of guile, with a fairly hot temper and plenty of bile. Wanted a witch's cat, who's not afraid to fly, for a cat with strong nerves, the salary's high. Wanted a witch's cat, only the best need apply. Hi, my name is Tori, and I will be reciting The Hiker by Eve Merriam. Backpacking Max, past racks of shacks, past all trail tracks, bushwhacks, thwacks with an axe hacks, mosquito attacks, bites through his slacks, Max lacks too late the bug smacks, cracks open his rucksack, stack of snack packs. Hi, my name is Trace, and I will be performing Niagara by Carl Sandburg. The tumblers of the rapids go white, go green, go changing over the gray, the brown, the rocks. The fight of the water, the stone, the fight makes a foam lasting. Before the last look over the long slide, down the spread of a sheen and a straight fall, then the growl, the chutter, down under the boom and the muffle, the hoo-hoy deep, the hoo-hoy down. This is Niagara. Mother doesn't want a dog. Mother says they smell. And never sit when you say sit or even when you yell. And when you come home late at night when there's ice and snow, you have to go back out because the dumb dog has to go. Mother doesn't want a dog. Mother says they shed. And always let the strangers in and bark your friends instead. And bar and do disgraceful things on the rug and trap mud on the floor and flop upon your bed at night and the snore their doggy snore. Mother doesn't want a dog, she's making a mistake. Cause more than a dog, I think she'll not want the snake. My name is Stella and I will be performing The Lake by Edgar Allan Poe. In spring of youth, it was my lot to haunt of the white earth a spot of which I could not love the less, so lovely was the loneliness. A wild lake with black rock bound and tall pines towered around. But when night had thrown her pall upon this spot as upon all, and the mystic wind went by, murmuring in melody, then, ah then, I would awake to terror of the lone lake. But that terror was not fright, yet a tremulous delight, a feeling that the jeweled mind could teach or bind me to define, nor love, although the love were thine. Death was in that poisonous wave, and in its gulf a fitting grave, for him who thence solace could bring to his lone imagining, and whose solitary soul could make an Eden of that dim lake. Hello, I'm 
Sebastian Hamilton, and I will be performing a poem that I made earlier in the year. It is called Nature. Nature. Everything that's around me is nature, yet my head is filled with observation. I observe the deer flashing through the woods, the sun hiding behind the leaves, the scrunching of my classmates' shoes against the fallen leaves. And I sit there on that old bridge that crosses over the path. Grass poking up from the ground, spiderwebs thin as string, but strong and sticky. Where am I? Now I am where the tree has fallen and finding a peaceful place to sit and observe the lichen on the tree. Thank you. My name is Rudy and I will be reciting Tonight I Can Write by Pablo Neruda. Tonight, I can write the saddest lines. Write, for example, the night is starry and the blue stars shiver in the distance. The night wind revolves in the sky and sings. Tonight, I can write the saddest lines. I loved her. Sometimes she loved me too. Through nights like this one, I held her in my arms. I kissed her again and again under the endless sky. She loved me. Sometimes I loved her too. How could one not have loved her great still eyes? Tonight, I can write the saddest lines, to think that I do not have her, to feel that I have lost her, to hear the immense night, still more immense without her, and the verse falls to the soul like dew to the pasture. What does it matter that my love could not keep her? The night is starry and she is not with me. This is all. In the distance, someone is singing. In the distance, my soul is not satisfied that it has lost her. My sight tries to look for her as though to bring her closer. My heart looks for her, and she is not with me. The same night, whitening the same trees. We of that time are no longer the same. I no longer love her, that's certain. But how I loved her. My voice tried to find the wind to touch her hearing. Another's. She will be another's. As she was before my kisses. Her voice, her bright body, her infinite eyes. I no longer love her, that's certain. But maybe I love her. Love is so short. Forgetting is so long. Because through nights like this one I held her in my arms. My soul is not satisfied that it has lost her. Though this be the last pain that she makes me suffer. These the last verses that I write for her. My name is Remy Alper, and I will be reciting Love Letter by Linda Paston. It has snowed on this page, and there are tracks, as of a small animal lost in the white weather. In the cold battle of breath, yours forms, the only cloud which I can rest my head. Uh, my poem is called Thunderstorms. You'll see the theme. Part 1, The Thunderstorm. It strikes quickly, first, gray clouds in the sky, then the rumble of thunder shaking the ground and the flash of lightning illuminating the sky. Then, silence, a world gone dark, everything is quiet, no rustle in the trees, no rain thrumming on the ground. As suddenly as it had came, it had gone. And then part two is thunderstorm in the woods. Thunder booms. Lightning crashes, fear thrums in my heart. One gust of wind, one lightning strike, and the tree could come crashing down, destroying everything in its path. This is a thunderstorm in the woods. Thank you. I'll be presenting Giggle in the Wall by Joyce Sipman. Her jaw darts out to crunch out flaws. Her tongue flicks up to wipe her eyes. She climbs up walls with an eerie cry. Her tail comes off a wriggling prize. She sprints and leaps and slicks and slides. Sigh. Don't you wish you were a gecko? My name is Patrick Budd and today I will be reciting Harlem by Langston Hughes. What happens to a dream deferred? 
does it dry up like a raisin in the sun or fester like a sore and then run? Does it stink like rotten meat or crust and sugar over like a syrupy sweet? Does it sag like a heavy load or does it explode? My name is Malaya Masambe, and I'm going to be reciting Awakening in New York by Maya Angelou. Curtains forcing their will against the wind, children sleep exchanging dreams with seraphim. The city drags itself awake on subway straps, an eye, an alarm, awake as a rumor of war by stretching into dawn, unaxed and unheeded. I am like the leaf from Yane Noguchi. The silence is broken into nature and my soul sails out, carrying the song of life on his brow to meet the flowers and birds. When I return to solitude, she is very sad, looking back on the dead passions lying on love's ruin. I am the leaf, hanging over hope and despair, which trembles and joins the world's imagination and ghost. Hello everyone, my name is Lucas Nolan, and today we're performing Tonka Diary, Don't Eat No Pig Fence, Brick Wall by Harriet Mullen. Here it is. Don't need picket fences, brick wall, or razor wire. Our home's checked by prickly pear cactus and thorny bougainvillea. And if or not, welcome to our gardens. Lavender's dress is not so vibrant as her green trousers and purple feller sleeves. Hi, my name is Lily, and I'll be reciting Water Lilies by Sarah Teasdale. If you've forgotten the water lilies, floating on the dark lake among the mountains in the afternoon shade. If you've forgotten their wet soapy fragrance, then you can return and not be afraid. But if you remember, turn away forever to the plains and prairies where the pools are far apart. There you will not come at dusk on the closing water lilies, and the sharp mounds will not fall on your head. My name is Liam Gilbert. I'm going to be reciting Stone Bridge by Liam Gilbert. Stone Bridge and all of its strings of might over the long years. Wind, rain, and the changing seasons try to fight against it and knock it down. But with its strength over the long years, the weather tires it to fight. Crumbling apart slowly and steadily learning the secrets of the forest. Hi, my name is Lev, and I will be reciting Building by Gwendolyn Brooks. When I see a brave building, straining high and higher, hard and bright and sassy in the seasons, I think of the hands that put that strength together, the little soft hands, hands coming away from cold, to take a challenge and to mold this definition. Amazingly, men and women work with design and judgment, steel and glass, to enact this announcement. Here it stands who can construct such miracle, can enact any consolidation, any fusion, all little people opening out of themselves, forging the human spirit that can outwit big building, boasting in the city world. Hello, my name is Layla Wang, and I will be reciting The Jabberwocky by Lewis Carroll. Beware the Jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jub jub bird and shun. I threw me a spander snap. One, two, one, two, and through and through. The vorpal blade went snicker snack. He left it dead, and with its head, he went galumping back. Twas brillig and thy slyly toes did gyre and gimble and wave. All mimsy were at the boil grove, and momrass outgrave. One. My name is Kate, and I will be reciting Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening by Robert Frost. Whose woods these are, I think I know. His house is in the village, though. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. My little horse must think it queer to stop without a farmhouse near. Between the woods and frozen lake, the darkest evening of the year. He gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake. The only other sounds the sweep of easy wind and downy flake. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep, and miles to go before I sleep, and miles to go before I sleep. My name is Jonas, and I'll be reciting A Skull by Dan Levin. A skull is like a house with a brain inside. Another place where eating and thinking tangle and spar. 
At night, you lean out releasing thought balloons. On the roof, someone stands ready with a pin. Hello, my name is Jacob, and I'm going to be performing Morning by Mary Oliver. Salt shining behind its glass cylinder, milk in the blue bowl, yellow linoleum. The cat stretching her black body from the pillow, the way she makes a curvaceous response to this small, kind gesture, then laps the bowl clean, then wants to go out into the world, where she jumps across the lawn and for whatever reason stops, perfectly still, in the grass. I watch her a little while thinking, what more could I do with wild words? I stand in the cold kitchen, bowing down to her. I stand in the cold kitchen, everything wonderful around me. My name is Emery, and I am going to be reciting Drumbeat by Carol Snow. Listen, there, do you not hear them? Come away from your overcrowded city to a place of eagles, and then perhaps you will hear. Be still this once, hold the yammering of your jackhammer tongue, take your stainless steel hands from the ears of your heart, and listen. Or have you forgotten how? They are there yet through these hundred centuries, and all your middle thunder has not silenced them. The wind is the messenger. Heed the whispering spirit. Now the drums still talk. From the grizzly bear hills, across the antelope plains, in the veins of your blood. The heartbeat of Mother Earth. Hello, my name is Henry Goldstein and I will be reciting Hope is the Thing with Feathers by Emily Dickinson. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all and sweetest in the gale is heard, and sore must be the storm that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm. I've heard it in the chillest land and seen it in the strangest sea, yet never in extremity it asked a crumb of me. Hello, my name is Hattie Green, and I will be reciting Demeter's Prayer to Hades by Rita Dove. This alone is what I wish for you, knowledge. To understand each desire has an edge. To know we are responsible for the lives we change. No faith comes without cost. No one believes without dying. For the first time I see clearly the trail you planted. What ground laid to waste, though you dreamed a wealth of flowers. There are no curses, only mirrors held up for the souls of gods and mortals. And so I give up this fate too. Believe in yourself. Go ahead, see where it gets you. <coughs> Twas brillig and the slithy toves did gyre and gimble in the wave. All mimsy were the borough groves and the mown wraths outgrave. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the claws that bite, claws that catch, Beware the dip dip bird and shun my freemius bandersnatch. He took his vorpal sword in hand. Long time the maxim foe he sought. So rested he by the town tom tree and stood a while in thought. As in an uffish thought he stood, the jabberwock with eyes of flame came whistling through the tugly wood and burbled as it came. One, two, one, two, and through and through the vorpal blade went snicker snack. He left it dead, and with its head he went galumping back. And hast thou slain the jabberwock? Come to my arms, my beamish boy. O oh, fragile day, kalu kale, he chortled in his drool. Brillig and the slithy toves did gyre and gimble in the wave. All mimsy were the ball groves, and the moan rass outgrabe. Hi, my name is Haley, and I'm going to be reciting um, Alone by Maya Angelou. Lying, thinking last night how to find my solo home where water is not thirsty and bread loaf is not stone. I came up with one thing, and I don't believe I'm wrong, that nobody, but nobody, can make it out here alone. 
alone, all alone, nobody, but nobody can make it out here alone. There are some millionaires with money they can't use. Their wives run around like bank sheets, their children sing the blues. They've got expensive doctors to cure their heart of stone, but nobody, no nobody can make it out here alone. Alone, all alone, nobody, but nobody can make it out here alone. And if you listen closely, I'll tell you what I know. Storm clouds are gathering, the wind is going to blow. The race of mankind is suffering and I can hear the moan. Cause nobody, but nobody can make it out here alone. Alone, all alone, nobody, but nobody can make it out here alone. Thanks. My name is Grace and I will be reciting Trees by Joyce Kilmer. I shall never see a poem as lovely as a tree, a tree that looks at God all day and lifts her leafy arms to pray, who in summer may wear a nest of robins in her hair, whose heart snow has lain, who intimately lives with rain. Poems are made by fools like me, but only God can make a tree. He took his vorpal sword in hand, Long time the man's moan foe he sought. So rested he by the tum tum tree and stood a while and thought. Hast thou slain the jabberwock? Oh, come to my arms, my beamish boy. Oh, fractious day, kalu kalay, he chortled in his joy. Twas brillic in the slithy toves, did gyre and gimble in the web. All mimsy were the boar groves and the mom rats afraid. We practiced together, we sweat and stain, we pummeled each other and laughed of pain. Teams may disagree, may tease, may blame. Teams may bicker and whine and get down for the game. You had my back, we fought the fight, and though our score was less last night, we're walking tall, our team came through and stuck together like crazy blue. I'm proud to say I lost with you. My name is Elliot Bramson, and I will be reciting Morning at the Window by T.S. Eliot. They are rattling breakfast plates in basement kitchens and along the trampled edges of the street. I'm aware of the damp souls of housemaids sprouting despondently at area gates. The brown waves of fog toss up to me, twisted faces from the bottom of the street and tear from a passerby with muddy skirts, an aimless smile that hovers in the air and vanishes along the level of the roofs. Twas Euclid and the theorem pi did plain and solid in the text, all parallel with radii and the angles convexed. Beware the Wentworth myth, my son, and loci the vacillate. Beware the axiom and shun the faithful postulate. He took his waterman in hand, long time the proper proof he sought, then rested by the X, Y, Z, and sat a while in thought. And as an in inverse thought he sat, a brilliant proof in lines of flame, all neat and trim, it came to him, tangenting as it came. A, B, C, D, reflected he, the waterman, when snicker-snack. He Q, E, D'd, and proud indeed, he trapezoided back. And hast thou proved the twenty-ninth? Come to my arms, my radius boy. Oh, good for you, oh, one point two, he rumbust in his joy. Twas Euclid and the theorem pi, the plain and solid in the text. All parallel were the radii and the angles convexed. Hi, I'm Cayman Rossi, and I'm going to be performing Herman Sherman Thurman by Jack Perlutsky. I'm Herman Sherman Thurman. I'm perfect, that's a fact. No matter the activity, I'm thorough and exact. I wake in every morning at 11 after eight, not half a second sooner, nor a quarter second late. I measure out my cereal, 300 puffs of rice, plus 37 raisins, one has got to be precise. My manners are fastidious, I'm groomed impeccably. 
I'm positively flawless, as you'll doubtlessly agree. I'm Herman Sherman Thurman, you'll invariably find that my teeth are brightly gleaming and my shoes are highly shined. My trousers are immaculate, my shirt and tie are clean. Some people say I'm teased. I wonder what they mean. I'm Avila, and I'm going to be reciting Inspiration. I'm where nature surrounds me, yet I cannot see or hear a thing, but it's not dark or silent. I see my classmates writing poems. I see the rough tree bark. I see green, orange, red, and yellow leaves, yet no inspiration. Two, three. I'm Elena, and I'll be reciting Problems by Langston Hughes. Two and two are four. Four and four are eight. But what would happen if the last four was late? And how would it be if one two was me? Or if the first four was you, divided by two? My name is Adeline, and I will be reading Dawn Revisited by Rita Dove. Imagine you wake up with a second chance, the blue jay hawks its pretty wares, and the oak tree still stands spreading glorious shade. If you don't look back, the future never happens. How good is it to rise in the prodigal smell of biscuits, eggs, and sausage on the grill? The whole sky is yours to ride on. Blow up in a pink page. Come on now. Shake a leg. You won't know who's frying those eggs down there if you don't get up and see. Hi, I'm Avila. I'm Lena. And I'm Violet. We are going to be deciding if I should have a daughter, should have a daughter by Sarah Kay. If I should have a daughter instead of mom, she's going to call me Point B because that way she knows no matter what happens, she can always find her way to me. And I'm going to paint the solar system on the backs of her hands so she has to learn the entire universe before she can say, oh, I know that like the back of my hand. And she's going to learn that life will hit you hard in the face. Wait for you to come back up again so it can just kick you in the stomach. But getting the wind knocked out of you is the only way to remind your lungs how much it likes the taste of air. Believe me. I, I, oh. There's hurt here that cannot be fixed by band-aids or poetry. So the first time that she realizes that Wonder Woman isn't coming, I'll make sure she knows that she doesn't have to wear a cape all by herself. Because no matter how wide you stretch your fingers, your hands would always be too small to catch all the pain you want to heal. Believe me, I've tried. And baby, I'll tell her, don't keep your nose up in the air like that. I know that trick. I've done it about a million times. You're just smelling for smoke. You can follow the trail back to a burning house. You can find the boy who lost everything in the fire to see if you can save him. Or else find the boy who lit the fire in the first place to see if you can change him. But I know she will anyway. So instead, I'll always keep an extra supply of chocolate and rain boots nearby. Because there's no heartbreak that chocolate can't fix. Okay, there's a few that heartbreaks that chocolate can't fix. But that's what the rain boots are for. Uh, because rain will wash away everything, if you let it. I want her to look through the underside of a glass-bottom boat, to look through the world at, at, at the microscope that exists, at the pinpoint to human mind, because that's the way my mom taught me. That there'll be days like this. There'll be days like this, my mama said. When you open your hands to catch and end up with only blisters and bruises. When you step out of the phone booth and try to fly and the very people you want to save are standing on your cape, those are the, and you'll be up to your knees on, in disappointment. Those are the very days you have all the more reason to say thank you. Because there's nothing more beautiful than the way the ocean refuses to stop kissing the shoreline, no matter how many times it's sent away. You will put the wind in wind some lose some. You will put the star in starting over and over. And no matter how many landmines are up to in a minute, be sure your mind lands on this funny place called life. And yes, on a scale from one to over trusting, I am pretty damn naive. 
but I want her to know that this world is made out of sugar. It can crumble so easily, but don't be afraid to stick out your tongue and taste it. And baby, baby, I'll tell her, remember, your mama is a warrior, and your papa is a warrior, and you are the girl with small hands and big eyes who never stops asking for more. Remember that good things come in threes, and so do bad things. Always apologize when you've done something wrong, but don't you ever apologize for the way your eyes refuse to stop shining. Your voice is small, but don't you ever stop singing. And when they finally hand you heartbreak, when they slip war and hatred under your doorstep and hand you hand out some street corners with cynicism and defeat, you tell them that they really ought to meet your mother. What do I see when I wake up? In reality, I don't see anything. I hear cars zooming by, the loud noise engulfing my ears. I smell the warm, brisk air which has been encased in my room for the whole night. I taste the food I will be making this morning, for I must know what to eat. I feel the soft blankets that are draped over me, embracing me in their warmth. For what I see is a world ending right before my eyes. I miss you. I miss you like the ocean misses the sand, the way it keeps coming back only to get dragged under again. You bring color to my gray days, smiles to my frowns. When you're gone, I glance at everyone's faces, searching for yours. I spend every waking minute wondering when you will come home. The seconds stretch on forever, the only comfort is that I'm sure you're happy and having fun, but I still wish you would come home. Hi, my name is Trace, and I will be reciting a poem called The Light. The Sheep, a woman milking a cow, the sheep seeking light to all the dark. In spring of youth it was my lot to haunt of the white earth a spot, of which I could not love the less, so lovely was the loneliness. Of wild lake with black rock bound and tall pines that towered around. But when night had thrown her pall upon this spot as upon all, then, uh, then I would awake to terror of the lone lake. But that terror was not fright, but a tremulous delight, a feeling that the jeweled mind could teach or bribe me to define, nor love, although the love were thine. Death was in that poisonous wave, and in its gulf a fitting grave, for him who then souls could bring to his lone imagining, and whose solitary soul would make an Eden of that dim lake. Hi, my name is Rudy. I'll be reciting my original poem now. Even if it is a little short, I think it's really good. I used to be a prince, thinking that I was in command of the world. Now, I'm just a mortal, trying to gain the higher ground in the cliff of the earth. I used to have an elevator. Now, I actually have to climb up. The Woods by Remy Alpert. Dark green, light green, trees creeping in their seams. What tree to sit on, what tree to pick. One tree to climb, one tree to lick. In the woods, there is always a tree just for me. Dark, thick, green, powerful leaves swaying through the gusts of wind. I hear a beautiful, bird chirping sound so kind and polite. I think it's just time I might sit on that tree. That tree was just for me. Where I am from by Pharaoh Lewis. I am from Philly. I am from brotherly love and sisterly affection. I am from PlayStation games that I play from Fortnite to Minecraft. I am from the ever-changing universe. I am from tropical trees. I am fr I'm from the family gatherings and generous people. I am from my mom to Auntie Jazz and the Henrys. I am from laughter and love. 
I am from being told, be who you want to be, and I love you. I am from Philly, but my family is from Jamaica, from ribs to Jamaican food, from Big Mike's wedding and nice cousins and caring aunts. I am from a Jamaican family. I am from the AFS community. My name is Patrick Budd, and this is a poem that I wrote called Summer. Summer is when you're free. Summer is the play outside season. Summer is the juicy burgers on the grill at a neighborhood barbecue. Summer is a refreshing lemonade on the porch. Summer is a hot sand at the beach. Summer is the football and baseball throwing in the backyard. Summer is the take the dog for a walk day, every day. My name is Malaya Musande, and I'm going to be reciting As I Sit and Observe by me. As I sit and observe, I can see a shopping cart with someone in it. As I sit and observe, I can smell Chinese food, noodles, maybe chow mein. As I sit and observe, I can hear all the chuckles that they laugh. As I sit and observe, I can see an eye staring at me from a piece of art. It makes me feel like I'm being watched by the biggest eye in the world. As I, I can hear their conversations the slightest bit. I can hear them talking about the right picture to take. As I sit and observe, I hear music, my favorite kind. Slow, fast, and sad all at once. I'm almost like a fly. Observe, but doesn't speak. I in the village. Dear 2020, it's 1911 here. And what have you done? I remember when the oceans were clear blue and they were beautiful, but now I look at them and they're filled with plastic and garbage, things that should never be in the ocean. And I remember where the California grizzly bear was here, but now think about it, they're gone. And it's like mankind's fault. And so you see, you're kind of ruining the earth and next century, you're gonna look back on the earth that you used to have and realize, wow, I really messed up and I wish that I would have done something. So if you wanna act now, you need to act now or it's never going to end. Thank you. Oh, we're going already. Uh, hello everyone. My name is Lucas Nolan, and I will be performing my poem called Dear Shadow. Dear Shadow, why are you following me, trying to grasp me, take over? I just want to live my life in peace, without someone or something taking control of my feelings. I have one life, and I want to live it happily, if I can. Can you leave me alone? P.S. That was not a question, it was a demand. From your counterpart, Lucas Nolan. My name is Lily, and I'll be reading my poem. My soul is a unicycle, either going too fast or too slow. Sometimes just right. Gravity always wins. It falls like a raindrop falling from the clouds. Go. Hi, my name is Liam, and I'm going to be reciting Nature Knows It's Math by Joan Graham. The by the Earth Seasons, four. Subtract the snow and then add some more green. A bud, a breeze, a whispering behind the trees. And here beneath the rain scrub sky, orange poppies multiply. One. Hi, my name is Lev and I will be reading Streets of a Rainy Night by me. The reflection, the streets, the rain night, water dripping off a stoplight, midnight, street fights, those fierce people. That's just a rainy night. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jacob, and I'm going to be performing Upper Schoolers Are So Lucky by me. They get to have Dunkin' Donuts and Chick-fil-A. They have their computers and phones out, probably to play. We only get that st kind of stuff once a week at Farmhouse. Compared to them, I feel like a mouse. Red, green, and yellow. Everywhere I look, I see these colors. Green, I see on the ground and trees. Red, I see way up high, where the tall trees roam. Yellow, I see c sitting kind of still, kind of alone. So when you're in the forest this time of year, look for red, green, and yellow. Hello, 
My name is Henry Goldstein, and I will be sharing my original poem titled, I Used to Be. I used to be a blank page, speechless, nothing to say. But now, I'm an open book, never-ending, infinite, filling up the pages faster than ever with my voice. It used to take everyone, everything, all of their might to get me to say one word. Now, I never stop. Free throw, jump shot, layup, three-pointer, swish, air ball, dribble, sneaker squeaks, rebound, dunk, catch the ball, dribble the ball, feet together, shoot and flick it with your fingers so you have good form, and swish. That's basketball. I shall never see a poem as lovely as a tree, a tree that looks at God all day and lifts her leafy arms to pray. One summer may wear a nest of robins in her hair, whose heart snow is lame, who intimately lives with rain. Poems are made by fools like me, but only God can make a tree. My name is Elliot Bramson, and I will be reciting my own I Used to Be poem. I used to be a pretty tower, but now I am a ruin, falling apart and decaying. No more tourists taking pictures, only the wind and the crows. My children are the bricks that have fallen to the ground. They are gone. Hi, I'm Cayman Rossi, and I'm going to be performing my poem, Soccer. I walk onto the pitch, all warmed up so I don't get a stitch. Fans are cheering, the other team is fearing. The wrath of my goal comes from the soul. Being striker is pretty sweet, requires skill and quick feet. Shoot the ball in the net, worth all the energy and sweat. When I score, the fans want more. I'm Alina, and I'll be performing Raindrops by me. I see what you're doing, hind go seek. Well, if you ask me, it's what makes you unique. I can truly see you when the sun is out. But on the glistening grass, I think you stand out.